Hello everyone, welcome to Story Time with Kate. And again, we're reading out of our children's Bible. <laughs> and the story today is called Daniel and the Scary Sleepover. So let's get ready. Things were not looking good for God's people. They had been captured and taken far from home. And now they were slaves of the king in Babylon. But God had not left his people. He was with them and he was looking after them. Daniel loved God and obeyed him. Now God made Daniel able to understand lots of difficult things. So it wasn't long before the king of Babylon noticed him. King Darius liked how clever Daniel was. So he made Daniel the most important helper of all and put him in charge of a lot of other helpers. But the other helpers did not like this. They wanted the king to be, to like, like them best. They wanted to be the king's favorite. So they decided they wanted to get rid of Daniel. So they spied on him. They tried to find things wrong with Daniel. Things they could tell the king. Things they could, but there weren't any. None. They couldn't find anything at all. Except there was just one thing. Every day, without fail, no matter what, Daniel went to his room, closed his door, and prayed. So here's all the grumpy guys telling the king. They smiled to themselves. Let's get the king to make a law. No one is allowed to pray to anyone except the king. Daniel won't obey this law and he will be punished. They were pleased with themselves for being so clever and hurried off to tell the king. The king liked their idea. He didn't know they were tricking him. So he made it into a law. Everyone must pray only to me, said the king. If you don't, the lions will have you for dinner. Daniel heard this. He knew it was wrong to pray to anyone but God. He had to do what God said, whatever it cost him, even if it meant that he would die. So Daniel went to his room, closed his door, like he always did, and prayed. And that's just what the bad men wanted him to do. They skipped straight off to tell the king, oh, your most glittering highness, your law says, does it not, that everyone must pray to you alone, sire? Yes, said the king. Oh, our majesty, brightness, then correct us if we're wrong. But it would seem that Daniel is praying to God and not to you. The king was sad. He had been tricked. He didn't want to hurt Daniel but he couldn't change his law. And so he let the soldiers throw Daniel in with the lions. May your God who love you so much rescue you, said the king. See, here's Daniel in with the lions. Let's see what happens. The king went back to his palace, but he didn't sleep all night, not a wink. He tossed and turned until finally, the first glimmer of dawn, he leaped out of bed and ran straight to the den. Daniel, he cried, has God rescued you? Yes, Daniel shouted. God sent an angel close, to, to close the lion's mouth. Oh, to close the lion's mouth. So God sent Daniel an angel, an angel to go So the lions couldn't do anything. And there, resting his head on Daniel's lap, 
was the biggest lion, purring like a little kitten. The king brought Daniel out of the den. Look, he said, Daniel doesn't even have a scratch. The king made a new law. Daniel's God is the true God, the God who rescues. Pray to him instead. God would keep on rescuing his people, and the time was coming when God would send another brave hero like Daniel, who would love God and do what God said, whatever it cost him, even if it would mean he would die. And together they pull off the greatest rescue the world has ever known. So, in this story, we learn about Daniel who gets tricked to be with the lions. And it's amazing because God saves him. Nothing happens to Daniel, everything's gonna be okay. And the story ends telling us that God's gonna send someone else to rescue, to save us, to protect us, and to listen to God no matter what. And who is he talking to about? Can any of you guess? He's talking about Jesus. Now in the story, they, they don't know Jesus yet, but he's coming. So I hope this story reminds you to, to pray to God no matter what. Every day if you can. It's okay if you miss him sometimes. But God will always be there for you. God will always protect you. He may even send an angel. Who knows? That would be pretty cool. So why don't we pray? God, thank you for this story. Thank you that you are a God that looks over us and protects us, even if people are trying to be mean and trick us. You are bigger than all of that, and you love us, and you see us as your children. So I pray today you protect us and you guard us, and that we feel like we can always come to you, no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, everyone.